Hello and welcome to another GPO tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you how to delete a world on your 7 days to die server. So the first thing you want to note is deleting the folder will reset the server completely. All player and map data will be deleted. This cannot be undone. So first off, log into the GPO website and click on my servers in the top left. Next, scroll down to your 7 days to die server and click on status. Take note of this FTP information and stop your server. Next, we recommend using an FTP client commonly known FTP clients like FileZilla will do. Add host, username, password, port, and hit quick connect. Next, scroll down to saves. In the nav save game folder, you will have your own world listed here. If it's not here, you've just started your server. As a quick note, if you do not have anything in this folder when you first connect, it's probably because you haven't started up your server. I recommend starting up your server and waiting five minutes for it to appear. If you do have something here, for example, this will be our save. What we're going to do is right click it and click delete. But before you do that, make sure your server is offline. This will delete everything, including player and map data. So like I said in the previous warning, make sure you know what you're doing because this cannot be undone. For randomly generated maps, you would go to saves and then you would see random gen here and then your game name in the web interface. Then you just select that and delete it as well. Don't forget to reboot your server once done and leave it a couple of minutes and your new save will be here. Thank you very much for watching another GPO tutorial. Have a nice day.